Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Stella and I'm back with two dilemmas again. Episode 3 guys. Episode 1 and 2 are available on my channel. If you haven't watched it, what are you waiting for? Watch it. Give me a like guys. Subscribe to my channel. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. If you have dilemmas, follow me on um, Instagram. I'm Stella Janako. Follow me on Twitter. I'm Stella uh, EA and just give me your comment. Tell me what you think. I'm here. I'm your girl. I want to answer your dilemmas. I've been married 21 years. I give God all the glory. It's not by my power, but my might. But I want to share my experiences. I want to share ideas with you. I want to tell you what I think. Today, before we start, cheers, guys. First of all, I love, I love the dilemmas this week. I always, you know, love all the questions you sent to me. But today, somebody is asking the pertinent question. Why do I keep dating losers? Why do I keep dating the wrong guys? This is a concern for all single people, whether you are a single girl or a single guy. But I'm here to tell you the truth. The truth is, if you take care of yourself, if you look good, if you treat people right, you know, chances are you are going to be attracting guys or girls, right? So if you're a girl, you're going to be attracting guys. Now, the dateable pool of guys could either be the good guys or the bad, bad, bad guys. It's, it's a mix. Or if you're a guy, you're going to be attracted to, or girls are going to be attracted to you. If you have money, you know, if you have social class, you know, if you have, you know, a good career, girls will be attracted to you. And you have a pleasant personality, you are charming, girls will be attracted to you. That's a given, right? But there are going to be the good girls and the bad girls. But the question is, the question is not, why are you dating with the, the wrong guy? From the pool that is available to you, the point is you are settling. You are settling for the wrong guys. Because the truth is, you're going to have good guys around you. You're going to have good girls around you if you're a guy. But you are settling for the bad ones. Maybe, you know, from your own life, you are just attracted to what you think is spontaneity, excitement, adventure. Sometimes the players, the bad guys, the unserious guys, the time wasters, you know, those are the ones that women find very exciting, you know. And then the, those are the ones they want to gist about with their friends and everything. Fine. The red flags are always there. A lot of the time, these guys or these girls don't even waste their time, you know, trying to hide who they are. They show you who they are. But you decide to settle. Because you can say, take a walk. But because you are either desperate, you are lonely, you just want to have a guy to call your own, or you have a need you think that guy meets at the moment, you grab it with two hands and two legs. Three months down the line, you start complaining. Six months down the line, same old story. Is it that he's taking a walk or whatever? I'm here to tell you that you don't have to settle, girl. Guys, you don't have to settle for a bad girl. A girl that will take you nowhere. Those kind of girls that your mothers warn you against. Girls, single girls, you don't have to settle for players. You don't have to settle for a playboy that treats you wrong on every level. I'm here to tell you good news. The good news is you have the power to say no. You are not exercising your fundamental human right to say no, I'm not going to date you. Not for anything in the world. So girl, I'm asking you a simple question. What standards do you have you set for yourself? I've been there. I've done that. When you have no standards, every Tom, Dick and Harry will date you. They will dump you. What are your moral values? When you have no values, the guy can respect. You meet him on the first date. You roll into bed with him. No boundaries set. Nothing. There's nothing to respect. So after that, you start trying to, you know, pull back your dignity. It's too late. What you see is what you get. Remember, the good guys or the attractive guys or... The guys who are ready to get married, 
they know when they see the person they want to marry. I am just telling you the gospel truth. When they sit with you two years, three years, stringing you along, you are not the one. But you tell yourself you are the one. You lie to yourself. The point is, a lot of times, women, we lie to ourselves. You lie to yourself and say, oh, if only I would just be more sexy. Oh, if only I would cook some more. Oh, if only I would just clean his house. Oh, if only I would just do this. Then he will love me. Nah, a guy loves who he loves. Do you know love is about? You don't have to work for the guy to even love you. He loves you first. And then you guys start dating and you start getting to know yourself. When a guy, why don't, why do you realize, you don't you see that sometimes you've been dating this guy for six years. He's never proposed. But guess what? One day he meets this girl, other girl, within two months, in fact, within three weeks, he already knows he's getting married to her. And then you'll be crying. You are heartbroken. You were not the one for him. But you knew it all in your heart. The truth is in your heart, you know. That you are not the one for him or he's not the one for you. But you just keep trying. You just keep trying. Why are you killing yourself over somebody that is, that is not for you? You are wasting your time. You are bleeding your heart. Let me tell you something. In the dating world, the truth is, we have a currency. What currency do you want a guy to spend on you? I'm asking you. Do you want him? Romantic dates is a type of currency. I'm not talking about pounds, naira, dollars, no. The currency in the dating world, if you don't know, let me educate you. Romantic dinners is a type of currency. Wedding ring is a type of currency. A happy marriage is a type of currency. Long term, you know, a, a dating, cutting that goes into marriage is a type of currency. What is your currency? Is your currency just giving away sex constantly? Because if you, it is the kind of currency that you want them to spend on you. If, for example, you want your currency, you want a guy to spend his money to take you out on a romantic date. Yet, you don't even wear decent clothes. I mean, not, I'm not talking about, I'm saying you don't wear like nice clothes. I'm not saying spend all your money. That is the wrong attitude to have. To say that, also, except I wear designer clothes, a, guy, a, a nice guy will not date me. That's not true. Find websites that are cheap. They sell cheap clothes but nice you know it looks good on you know your figure package yourself right my girl it's not expensive i'm telling you buy nice earrings this earrings there eh? i bought them from primark i don't know it's like a uh, two two pound fifty or something some girls will not be caught dead wearing it it depends on how you wear it you can't if you don't have money you can look good even if you don't have a job you can look good you can look good. When you look good, a guy will like to spend his money to take you out to dinner. If you cannot even buy yourself a nice dress, I'm not saying expensive dress, there's a difference. Buy yourself a nice dress. Why would the guy bother wasting his money on you to take you out to a, a nice restaurant and spend, I don't know, 500 pounds, 1,000 pounds for you? Why? So you will see that those girls who work on themselves, if you are chubby, I remember I used to be very chubby when I was single, you know, one day I woke up. It's like I woke up from a day and say, you know what? I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to look good. I'm going to look fit. Naturally, I have big bones, guys. And then I went to the gym. I lost weight. I don't know what I was before, but I lost weight to a size 12 before I met my husband. But of course, God brought my husband to me. But what I'm saying is, work on yourself. Mentally, positively, surround yourself with good friends. If you surround yourself with party animals, people who, who swear a lot, who, who, who go to parties, don't even think twice, who drink a lot, who smoke a lot, you know, why would a guy want you to raise his children? Why would a guy want you to be the mother of his kids? Think about it. If you don't treat people right, you talk to people anyhow, you are not kind. Why would a guy want you? He doesn't want you to mess up his life. A guy, does, a guy doesn't want you, a bad woman to mess up his life. So he will, avoid, he will not date you. He will sleep with you and walk away. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what I'm saying is check yourself, rate yourself. Rate your values. The kind of friends you surround your forever. Are you a respectful person? Are you a kind person? You know, do you take care of yourself? When you have done all that, you are ready. The second dilemma today is, they're asking me, how do I attract the right girls? I've spoken about it already. First of all, I'm going to tell you something. Put in the effort on yourself. I've said that. Work on yourself. Look good. 
Smile. Smiling is free. God has blessed you. If you don't know how to smile, practice it in front of the mirror. When you smile, you put, you put people at ease and it makes you look more beautiful. It makes you more approachable. Do you understand? When you are more approachable, you are more dateable. Say no to time wasters and losers. I remember when I became a born again Christian, I was like 25 and I made up my mind and I said, you know, God, I am ready now to get married. Before then, I wasn't ready to get married. That's the truth. And I told God, I said, God, if you give me this person, if you, if I said, no, I told God, I said, God, please, I'm not going to sleep with anybody again until I get married, until you give me the right guy. It took two years before my husband walked into my life. But in that two years, I met so many guys. But guess what I used to tell them? Because I had now raised my standard. It became, my standard became a spiritual standard. In 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18, it, go and read it. It tells you flee fornication. That every sin you commit is outside of your body. But when you commit fornication, you sin against your own body. So, when I found out that truth, before then I didn't know that truth. You can say, how can you not know you're 25? But I didn't know. And when I found out that truth, I told myself, I want to please God. I'm not going to sleep with the guy I'm going to marry. Do you know the number of guys that came to, into my life within that two years? There were so many. Guys with nice houses, nice cars, steady financial people, directors. But guess what? Because I had now um, raised my standard to God's standard, to spiritual standard, it was easy for me. On the first day, they start asking me out. I, I tell them point blank. I hope you don't expect me to sleep with you. Why? Because my standard had changed. I was no longer the one that you would just come in and go out. Nah, 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 nah. And guess what? They laugh at me. Those guys laughed at me and said, ha, ha, ha. How are we going to know if we are not compatible? If I don't sleep with you, I say, well, sorry, I'm not for you. Don't be afraid to say, no, I am not for you. Not every guy is for you. So don't be ashamed or afraid to say no. But you have to have a standard first. Put up your standard, God's standard. God's standard for your life does not harm you. It's good for you. And then that weeds away all the time wasters, all the players, all the unserious people. You know, only it was only my husband in two years. In two years, that when I told him, I said, I hope you don't expect me to sleep with you. His answer made me realize he was the one. Carry yourself with dignity as a woman. Even as a man. It's not every girl you sleep with. Come on. Some, some are walking demons from the pit of hell. And you just allow all these uh, spiritual vagabonds into your life. Guys, just because a woman says, come and have sex, doesn't mean you have to go in there. There are some that are, that are a trap that will kill you. So, guys, girls, single girls, I have told you to attract the right guy, go with God's standard. Raise up your standard to gold standard and let God speak for you. He will help you without all the losers and time wasters in your life, whether they are girls or guys. It is only the one that God has chosen for you that will stay. Because your standard will be so high that it's not everybody that will meet it. Don't, don't be worried. Be patient with God. When you are patient with God, you want to have sex now, now, now. Uh -uh. There is abundant sex in marriage. Abundant. Every position, every angle, every type, you can practice with your husband. Don't be in a hurry to sleep with the guy. I've been there. I've done that. They, it doesn't pay you. It doesn't pay you. I'm telling you. Treat people with kindness. When you treat people with kindness, even the guy that you don't think you're going to date, just be kind. Smile. They will pray for you. When you do good to people, they pray for you. When you sow good seeds, only good will come to you now. Uh -huh. And then pray. Pray. It's only a discerning heart that will marry a good man. Because God created man and women. Women can deceive. Men can deceive you. But God will never deceive you. Only God knows that man that is coming to you, that guy that's coming to you to come and date you. God knows his heart or her heart. Do you understand? So when you pray, God, please guide me, direct me. Eh? You are not ready to just go with the wind. Anywhere the wind blows you, you go. No. I'm here to tell you guys and girls, chin up. Better days are ahead. One day you hear my story. But for now, it's your girl Stella. Put in the effort, single girls. Look good. I've been married 21 years to God be the glory. Look good. 
smile, think positive, pray, and stay blessed. Until next time, send me your dilemmas to Twitter, um, Instagram, put it on the comment. Until next time, it's Stella. Like my videos, share, subscribe, share it with all the single people you know. You never know who you will help. Love you. Bye.